Hey everybody, it's me, uh, Onki or Excalibur, here again to do another move, uh, another video. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to do this until I got my camera situation all figured out, but here's the thing, I really want to do this review, and, um, you know, like I said before, Transformers has been a big part of my life, I love Transformer figures, I love Transformers in general, so I'm going to be doing... A quick video. I'll probably redo this at some point when I have a better camera and better lighting and all that stuff. Um, but anyways, you know, uh, my camera is uh, is right now not really working. It needs chargers and things like that. I just have the camera, not any of that stuff. So it's being shipped to me right now. I'll have it before I go uh, overseas to Japan. And anyways. Let's get this. Let's get this on the road. I'm gonna be. I'm bringing you tonight for your viewing pleasure. Bottom, bottom, bum 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 bum. Cyclonus. Now, a little bit about his character first, and some just some thoughts, and then I'm gonna be doing a second video in which I'm gonna actually talk about the toy and transformation and things like that. Now, Cyclonus first shows up in the 1986 Transformers the Movie. And he is one of the Decepticons who are reformatted by Unicron, that big mofo that we all fear. Because he is big and voiced by Orson Welles, and Orson Welles is scary. Don't say that he isn't, because he is. Fear him! Sorry. Anyways. So, you know, uh, there's actually a lot of controversy about this guy, because uh, no one really knows exactly who he was before he became Cyclonus. There are two candidates. There is, of course, Skywarp and Bombshell. Well, I know some people saying, oh, it's Bombshell, but, you know, Honestly, I'm with Kal-El Prime and um, several of the other reviewers and say that's Skywarp because Skywarp was so much cooler and, you know, I'd rather it be Skywarp than, uh, you know, Bombshell. Bombshell. Who was renamed Hardshell. I hate you, Hasbro. No, I don't. I love you, but I hate you at the same time. That's going to be another video. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyways, so, um, you know, I also like to think of Cyclonus, personally, as the Clint Eastwood of the Decepticons. He is, he is bad. He is mean. However, he has a sense of honor and a line he will not, he will not cross. Um, you know, he's so loyal to Decepticon cause and, you know, Galvatron that... There is an episode in which Galvatron starts really acting crazy, and Cyclonus here is like, this can't be good for the Decepticons. So, what does he do? He takes Galvatron to a planet to go get uh, some psychiatric help. The planet, apparently, that's what it does. And they get help from these weird monkey things. I don't know what they are. They're just weird monkey things. In any case, uh, Galvatron just uh, turns the planet and everyone on it insane because he's just that crazy. But uh, he has actually a lot in common with uh, Altered Magnus, which is actually why they are kind of mortal enemies and also friends because they, they're really the only ones that understand each other because they both have such a, feel they have such a duty to their cause that uh, they will do whatever it takes to get it done without crossing a certain line. Um, now, later on in the series, actually in the very last episode that was aired in the United States called The Awakening, moving this bad boy here, um, Cyclonus actually gets a partner. And if you know anything about The Awakening, this is when the uh, Nublonians, Niblonians, Cuckoo, Kachu, uh, they're the they're the N word, not the not no wait, not the N word, but the other N word because I don't know how to pronounce the, these guys' names. 
I've only seen the episode like once or maybe twice, and uh, I was under the influence of alcohol, and uh, I kind of forgot. In any case, they were a pl they were a planet that uh, was completely inhabited by these, you know, two factions that are fighting. One faction completely relied on robots. The others kind of lived in um, th th they lived in caves. They were. They were, they were not happy people. Anyway, so they captured the Decepticons and made a deal. Said, hey, we're going to turn you into headmasters. And Cyclonus says, um, that's not happening with me. I'm sorry. It's like, I'll tell you what. Uh, we'll give you the animal, the, the bee spots here. You can make them into headmasters, and that's fine. But um, we'll just give you our weapons, and you can do something with uh, them, so suck it. And Zarak, the leader, was like, that's fair. So, Cyclonus's gun is transformed into the target master, Nightstick. Now, Nightstick is the exact polar opposite of Cyclonus, and they actually hate each other, because Nightstick is a brawler. All he really wants to do is fight and harm people. And uh, he will, he doesn't care who it is. He'll shoot them and, and whatnot. And, you know, these two just don't get along. Let me switch hands here because the camera's being f funky. But these two really do not like each other because he's honorable and has lines he will not cross. And this guy just wants to hurt people. Um, in any case, they become partners, and uh, you know. And then, of course, in the series, they it ends after uh, after the awakening and whatnot. But the Japanese pick it up, and they did something different with it. I haven't I haven't actually watched much of the Headmaster series. I've only been able to get what I can find on YouTube and uh, sometimes it, they have a whole series, sometimes they don't, and when, sometimes when they do have the whole series they get canned because they can't have a whole series. Anyways, um, th these characters are exact opposites but they work together. Anyways, uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I really have to say um, about these guys, other than the fact that this dude is just mean. I mean, he even looks mean. Look at him. He is a mean mofo. He will, he will eat your baby like a dingo. He will eat it and enjoy it. Probably slap some barbecue sauce or, I don't know, maybe he's a ketchup man. Slather it all up and, mm, 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 mm. Mm, tastes like chicken. Anyways, um, that's it for this part of the review. I'm going to be doing a uh, second video, uh, and I'm going to be actually talking about the figure, and, uh, or figures, and, uh, and I have a kind of a system for that. Anyways, guys, uh, if you like this video, check out part two. If you didn't, stop watching my channel, please. And I hope you guys take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice. Later, guys.